We're now going to um, have a presentation from Karen Bailey, who is also from Ottawa and um, quite well known as a, a painter of people. Um, a number, one of her recent series dealt with um, a group of older women who uh, prepare food for church functions. She was an appointed a military artist uh, in the CFAP program in 2006 07, and she traveled to Afghanistan in June 2007 to document military medical personnel at the Royal Three Hospital in Kandahar. And uh, she produced uh, an enormous body of, of work, which triage, which was exhibited um, in Ottawa. And uh, one of the pieces from that body of work is in the Brush With War exhibition. Thanks very much. I'd like to especially thank um, the Canadian Forces Artists Program, that's John McFarlane. And I don't know if Shannon Clatt is here as well, who was helping to organize this, uh, which is wonderful, and Linda Fish and Dr. Laura Brandon. It's, I think this is a really uh, very important symposium to have because military artists never get together and military art tends to be a hard sell. So I think anything that we can do to, uh, I think, let the public know more about what's going on is, is really, really important. Um, as Laura said, I, I, paint, uh, I paint people, but I tend, my tendency is to paint under-recognized people and behind-the-scenes workers. That's who I really favor, whether it's hairdressers, waitresses, uh, older women who volunteer at, um, in churches preparing food for church functions, that kind of thing. So, I applied to the military program because I wanted to paint behind the scenes people. And I thought catering staff or medical personnel. And I should point out that it was Carol, Carol Marois who suggested I apply for the program. Um, I really did hope that I would stay somewhere close to home. In fact, so close to home I would have been quite happy. There's a military hospital on Alta Vista and I would have been very happy to stay there or even in terms of catering staff, I would have been happy to go to the cafeteria at the DND building downtown in Ottawa and that would have just suited me fine. I'm a rotten traveler. But um, I guess the world has other plans for me. Um, the last place I wanted to go was Afghanistan. Really, that was absolutely the last place. And I think really, Carol should have gone to Afghanistan in my place. And I would have been happy, happier probably going to uh, the Netherlands to, to do her project. But as I say, that's not the way things worked out. Um, I, I really did narrow it down then to medical services. And it happened that someone from the medical services in the military came to visit my studio. And his first question to me was, why don't you want to go to Afghanistan? And I said, they're not sending artists to Afghanistan because the understanding was that um, they couldn't get the insurance to send the artists. So I told him that uh, without saying that I really had no intention of going there. I, I blamed it on the Canadian Forces Artists Program. And he said, nonsense. He said, we can get you over there. I mean, we send civilians all the time. And he said, you've got to see what's going on at the Royal Three Hospital in Kandahar. And I'm sure many of you here have heard about the program that goes over either the hospital in Kandahar. Um, I'd like to point out that my, my grandmother was a nurse, and she nursed. She was in Italy during the First World War with the American Red Cross. Um, my mother was a nurse in uh, the reserves in Halifax. She just missed the war, but it was the late 1940s that she was there. And um, I think I did feel some family obligation to do what I could to uh, document medical personnel caring for wounded in a military setting. Um, you can see in this program, here I am sketching in, in this photograph, sketching in uh, the hospital in Kandahar. Um, I think I was naive before I went in thinking how much I could achieve while I was there because I was only in Kandahar for one week. So it's not very long at all. I brought uh, colored pencils and uh, sketchbooks and of course my camera. Um, I'm used to working from life. I sometimes do courtroom drawing for 
uh, global television or for CBC. And I thought that I'd be able to use those talents in the hospital, but I didn't reckon on how uh, quickly the staff would be moving around that hospital and how much, um, how much time I'd really need to document what was going on. The first day I was at the hospital, I was um, invited into surgery uh, of a four-year-old boy who'd been injured um, in an incident, uh, gun wound, gunshot wounds to his back. He was, it was a crossfire incident, and he was injured uh, in his back and brought in to, he, for a second surgery to remove water from his, uh, around his liver, fluid around the liver. Um, of course, this is exactly what I was there for, but you can imagine as a, a civilian and not used to a uh, hospital setting, I w went a bit weak at the knees, but I thought this is what I'm here for is to document. And to my surprise, as I say, I faced a ward filled with Afghan civilians. There were no Canadian soldiers injured during the week I was in Kandahar, and that's what I fully expected to see was injured Canadian soldiers. Um, there's little Aziz, that was a four-year-old boy with his father. Uh, I sketched him, you'll see a couple of the sketches I did of him, and uh, again, another, a nurse with uh, Muhammad, who was uh, too close to an IED and had a fractured vertebrae, um, and he was in halo traction. Again, I sketched him. So I took photographs of the staff while I was there. I sketched the patients, and through a translator, I was able to ask the permission of these patients to sketch them. And again, this is a little uh, a girl who was, whose fa uh, family home was taken over by the Taliban. She was uh, badly injured uh, and especially, uh, a, well, a lot of shrapnel wounds to her body, but a severe injury to her leg. And she was in that hospital for probably a couple of months. And I think that's one thing most people don't see, and maybe that's the opportunity artists are given, that we are able to see things that the general public doesn't see. And I think they don't see that a hospital will be a ward filled with Afghan civilians, including children, and there were no Taliban being treated when I was there, but they do treat Taliban in that hospital as well. And that's what I marvel at, is the ability, the fact that everybody is the same. When people are ill, they need to be treated, and it doesn't matter whether they're Taliban, or whether they're a four-year-old child, or, um, a civilian, an adult man, it doesn't matter. And that's what I really admire so much about the medical profession. They don't discriminate. The, one of the first sketches I did was of Matt Sleefa, and this is the little eight-year-old girl whose um, leg was badly injured. Um, I know I was terrified because, of course, I was placed in a setting that is completely foreign to me, and all I had was my sketchbook and my pencils, and I had to just start to work. And once I did start to sketch, I felt far more comfortable because it was the only thing in my, in my situation there that reminded me of home. Everything else was so foreign, being in the hospital and, and staying in the accommodations I had there and eating with uh, military staff, and it was all so odd. And you probably guessed by now from what I'm saying that um, I'm a reluctant traveler, but I'm, I'm a very reluctant war artist. This is, um, as I say, it's probably the last place I ever thought I would end up. Um, but so important, and I think it's important to tell the stories. And as I say, here are some sketches of the patients that I did while I was there. Little Aziz and Mohammed Hussein, the halo traction patient. And this is one of the first paintings I did when I came back. I think um, one of the things I didn't realize was how much work ahead there would be of me. Really, that one week was the uh, information gathering time. And when I came back, um, I had some ideas of, of working up some of my sketches and, and working from some of the photographs, but I always knew I wanted to do paintings of some of the staff and to get to know them better, because I really didn't get to know them too. They were working flat out in the hospital, and I was only there for a week. 